I invite you to please stand now and face the center of the church. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, in the waters of baptism, Bill died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. On the day of his baptism, Bill was clothed in a white garment as the outward sign of our Christian dignity. We clothe his remains with this white garment for the same reason now. Join in singing, Lord of all hopefulness. Lord of all kindliness, Lord of all grace, your hand swift to welcome, your arms to Lord of all calm, whose voice is contentment, whose presence is balm. Be there at our sleeping, and give us, we pray, your peace in our hearts, Lord, at the end of Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Immaculata. If you're joining us from other faith traditions or other parishes, we hope that you'll feel very much at home with us today. This was Bill's parish. This was where he was week after week in prayer and worship and service. Uh, whatever our faith traditions, certainly we are united for our love for Bill and our desire that he who was joined to Christ in the death of baptism now celebrates his victory over death. We begin in prayer. O God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayers on behalf of your servant William, whom you have called out of this world, and because he put his hope and trust in you, command that he be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy your eternal reward. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction but they are at peace. For in the eyes of men, indeed they be punished, yet it is their hope full of immortality. Chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them and the sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my want beyond my fears from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Though I should wander the valley of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet of love in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your good 
goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. A reading from St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We are indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we had died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. We stand to honor the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their good deeds go with them. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink, a stranger, and you welcomed me, naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous, righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? 
When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them and reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers or sisters of mine, you did for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. gather this morning to share the loss of a beloved member of our parish family, equally beloved by his family and many friends. And we give thanks for the blessings of knowing Bill, the blessings he enjoyed in this life, and the blessing that he was to so many. And we do that here to honor the most important thing about him, his baptism into Christ's death and resurrection and his Catholic faith, which was so important to him. We commend him to the Lord and console each other in the faith expressed so beautifully in our first reading that the souls of the just are in the hands of God. I've known Bill for nearly 20 years since my arrival here at the Immaculata. And since that time, I, as so many of you, have enjoyed his quiet support, and I will miss visits outside after Mass that were almost always peppered with his wonderful humor and hearty laugh. And in this regard, I have to tell you that Bill helped me get through this pandemic. A few years ago, as we sat next to each other at a dinner celebration, we learned that we both enjoyed dirty vodka martinis. Bill never said another word about it. But when the pandemic hit soon after, I received a delivery of all the fixings for a dirty martini. And a new shipment arrived every couple months. And since Bill was a retired Navy corpsman, I just followed the doctor's orders. (laughs) Bill was born on March 4, 1941 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. As a teenager, he worked the grill at an ice cream parlor, which may have inspired his love for cooking and entertaining. He had two older sisters, Esther and Carol, who predeceased him. At the age of 19, he enlisted, as I mentioned, in the United States Navy and became a corpsman. He retired after 20 years of service as chief hospital corpsman. While he was in the Navy, he married and had his daughter, Carmen, who was the light of his life, and his visits with her were still the highlight of every week. After he left the Navy, he went to Seattle University where he got his degree in medical administration. After graduation, he went back to work for the military where he worked on the project to make military records electronically portable anywhere in the world, including on the battlefield. It was during this period that he lived in Germany, learned German, traveled throughout Europe, In later years, this led to his beloved German shepherd, Rolf, with whom he could speak German. Later, he went to work for SAIC. He met lifelong friend Charles Mays at a trade association meeting as Charles, too, worked in IT for the Department of Defense. And after a few years, Charles was looking for a new opportunity, and Bill suggested he join him in Los Angeles. Charles packed his things and made arrangements for their shipment, and then joined Bill at a trade convention in New Orleans. All was going as planned, except that as while they were at the convention, Bill learned that the program he was on lost its funding and he no longer had a job in L.A. Not to worry, 
In his typical way, Bill got to work on the phone and arranged with SAIC funding for a new project. The only problem was that it was in a different city. After he got off the phone, he asked Charles, how would you like to move to San Diego? And the rest is history. After retiring from SAIC, Bill went to work for the San Diego County Sheriff's Office, where he again worked on a system to electronically track the medical records of the thousands of people in sheriff's custody at any one time. Bill's Catholic faith was very important and precious to him, which is often the case for those who come to the church later in life. Bill went through the Christian initiation process right here at the Immaculata and gained some lifelong friends in the process. Unfortunately, right before the Easter vigil, when he was to be confirmed, Bill injured his knee and had to have surgery. Afterwards, he had to wear a huge brace on his knee, which prevented him from wearing traditional slacks. They decided it was best that he be in a wheelchair for the ceremony. When he came up to be confirmed, the bishop asked him if he could stand. And Bill whispered back, I can stand, but I don't have any pants on. <laughs> the bishop decided to confirm him while he was seated. I have to tell you, I was very touched to learn that a few years after his coming into the church, Bill discerned about the possibility of becoming a deacon. The problem was he got his terminology mixed up and told the pastor at the time he was interested in becoming a cantor. The pastor was confused because he didn't even know Bill could sing. <laughs> but I think that episode is very telling about Bill. Bill because diaconate in the church is all about service. And service always marked his life. Whether it was as a Navy corpsman, his service and care for those he worked with, or right here in our parish. I can testify to the love he inspired in his staff. We've received some tearful calls here at the parish from staff members inquiring about his services. I heard how much time he took to visit with staff members and to learn about their personal lives, how encouraging he was, how much he empowered his staff to develop their skills and careers. I heard that as a boss, he gave everyone the benefit of the doubt, how countercultural that is today. I heard how he combined his love for cooking and entertaining into service for his neighbors with countless neighborhood parties. Here in our parish, he would use his warm and engaging personality to seek out people who were alone or seemed troubled and made many friends in the process. And he was a good and loyal and faithful friend and enjoyed so many lifelong friendships, including friends Bridget and Joe. You know, this gospel we just heard proclaimed is Jesus' famous parable of the separation of the sheep and the goats. It's taken from the 25th chapter of Matthew's gospel, and it's known as one of three kingdom parables, so-called because they describe the citizens of the kingdom of God. But I can tell you, it is a parable about knowing what is really important in life. The sheep knew. The goats didn't. Bill knew. In his life of service to others, in his devoted friendship, in his desire to gather others to feed them and celebrate with them, in his eye for the lost or lonely, in his faith 
which inspired it all, he knew what was really important, to serve and to take care of each other. Indeed, ordained or not, Bill was a deacon. Today we give thanks for the blessing of Bill's life and we trust that he now hears the beautiful words of this parable addressed to him by the Lord himself. Come, you who are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Please stand. God, our almighty Father, raised Christ his Son from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all of his people, living and dead. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Bill, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother Bill, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of our brother Bill, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters, cleanse them of their sins, and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated now as we prepare the altar. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness fails me never. I nothing like if I am his, and he is mine forever. Her streams of living water flow, my ransom soul he's leading, and where the burdened pastures grow with food celestial feed. Confused and foolish oft 
I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, William, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. As we continue the Eucharistic prayer, I invite you to please kneel or if you're not able to be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bill, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. William, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the have mercy, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. During uh, the communion procession for those Catholics who will be receiving communion this morning, our custom here at the Immaculata is to form two lines coming up the center aisle and then returning to your places by way of the side aisles. soul in stillness waits. Truly my hope is in you. O Lord of light, our only hope of glory, your radiance shines in all who look to you. Come light the hearts of all in dark and shadow. For you, O Lord, my soul in stillness waits. Truly my hope is in you. O spring of joy, rain down upon our spirits. Our thirsty hearts are yearning for your word. Come make us whole, be comfort to our hearts. For you, O Lord, my soul in stillness waits. Truly my hope is in you. O root of life, implant your seed within us. And in your advent, draw us all to you. Our hope reborn in dying and in rising. For you, O Lord, my soul in stillness waits. Truly my hope is in you.
Let us stand to conclude our prayer. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Bill may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before our prayers of commendation, just one announcement, and that is as soon as we conclude the Mass, there, you're all invited to a reception that we'll be having on our lawn just just to the east of the church. Is you can actually get there by going out the door kind of in the center of the church on the east side there. And I hope that you'll join us to share some more memories of Bill. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In paradisu, de ducante angeli, in tuo adventu, suscipiante materes, et perducante, in civitantem sanctam Jerusalem, chorus angelorum, te suscipiat, Et cum Lazaro quandam paupere, eternam abeos requiem. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Bill in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Peace be to God. To God. Jerusalem, my happy home, when shall I wish? When shall my sorrows have an end? Your joys when shall I see? Your
Your saints are crowned with glory great. They see God face to face. They triumph still, they still rejoice in that most holy place. There David stands with harp in hand as master of thy choir. Ten thousand times would we be blessed who might this music hear.